it's Midcoast Auditor, and I just want to make a quick video addressing a, an issue that uh, really bugs me, and it probably bugs a lot of auditors around the country too as well. Uh, the FBI and other alphabet agencies label us First Amendment auditors as sovereign citizens. And there might be some in the in the movement that are comments on my um, on my videos saying that I'm a sovereign and that um, I'm I'm a terrorist. I'm doing this and that. I just wanted to touch on a couple uh, definitions and uh, dispel this this really stupid argument. Um, the Sovereign Citizen Movement is a loose grouping of American and Commonwealth litigants, commenters, tax protesters, and financial scheme promoters. Self-described sovereign citizens see themselves as answerable only to their own particular interpretation of the common law and not subject to any government statutes or proceedings. Uh, and it goes on, goes on and on and on about it. But uh, the fact that they're trying to label somebody who stands in a public area and films whatever they see as a sovereign citizen shows you the lengths of which they're willing to go to keep the American people asleep. They figure if they label those who watch the watchers as something negative, others won't do it. And I have a big objection to that. Another thing is, I had a few comments on my last video that me that how I filmed a uh, government facility is somehow helping the enemy. Well, anybody with two brain cells can go onto Google Maps and see a satellite image of with better views of where everything is. So pretty much, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video touching base on this because I think. I think it's a, a tactic to scare the public away from the movement and to view us as a negative force when I personally do it to educate and I do it because if there are bad actors out there they need to be brought to light so they can either be retrained or fired or at the very least be known to the public to avoid them. Another thing I want to touch on too is a story from Kansas City the Kansas City Star, and it's it's titled "They They Roam Public Buildings Making Videos." Terrorism experts say they may be dangerous. Another bullcrap title to get people to click. And it goes on to talk about one instance where a man who was practicing his Second Amendment went into a building and filmed. And yada 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 on that one. And then Patrick from uh, News Now, Patrick, I believe it is Patrick Roth, made a couple statements saying. Uh, he is not a sovereign citizen and that he films because it's his right to and uh, he's a law-abiding citizen and like most auditors they they like the law they follow the law and that's all they want in return is for others to obey the law well they had a expert quote-unquote on here on domestic terrorism and they also had a, sh a retired sheriff of West, West Memphis Arkansas whose uh, son apparently was killed by a sovereign He's trying to make the comparison between First Amendment auditors and those those types. And this is his quote. Quote, there are the same tactics the sovereign citizens use. The language they use, going into office buildings, city office buildings, refusing to give their names, but demanding do you give theirs, videotaping everybody. First off, you can film anywhere in public. That doesn't qualify you as any part of any group. That's the same as saying that guy holding the sign condemning war is is a sovereign citizen because he has the audacity to use his public voice to uh, convey a message it's the same idea it's bullshit uh, it goes on to say same tactics the sovereign citizen use and by that I think he's trying to draw a comparison to the fact that most auditors do not ID unless they legally have to and that has nothing to do with being a sovereign citizen. That's just being a good citizen and knowing and taking a civics class in high school or reading a Google article or reading the Constitution, for God's sakes. But this retired police chief wants to make you think that if you use your rights in public, you're somehow a terrorist. And he goes on to say they're harassing city employees and government employees, and there's no legitimate reason for being there other than just to film. If holding government employees accountable by filming them is harassment, then what do they do to us? 
what what do they do to us when they make databases of all our calls all our emails they film us everywhere in public traffic cameras if we if it's harassing for them for us to go into into a public building and film what do we call it when they do it to us and he goes on to say they're trying to provoke these people to make an arrest or or hit them or whatever last time i checked the victim is never responsible for the actions of of the criminal if somebody hits you because you're filming in public it's never your fault that's just that's the way it is and this he's trying to say that if you if you film you are somehow trying to provoke that and that's not true either ignorance ignorance of the law and ignorance of other people's rights is no excuse to to lash out at those who use their rights and it goes on it goes on to say sovereign citizens believe the government's corrupt and out of control well I, I don't think it's just sovereign citizens i think it's a majority of this country but i digress therefore they do not recognize local state and federal authority or tax systems not all are violent but in recent years they have become but have come to be considered a top domestic terrorism threat by the fbi and uh pretty much patrick did a good job they they try you can see they were trying to twist his words if you read the article um you can see they try to twist his words but we all know patrick's the least threatening auditor out there so to make him seem like a bad guy as a, a sovereign citizen it's quite a stretch if anybody that knows the community i mean he's just a laid-back auditor you know he's he's the least threatening that i've seen um as far as threatening i mean being vocal in return to to the police action um there's some great auditors on the west coast who uh who have no issue uh expressing their first amendment rights through colorful language which i have no problem with it can it can backfire on you because a tyrant's going to be a tyrant no matter what and they're just looking for any reason so i try not to give them too many reasons to 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 harm me to hurt me to cage me um but that's just my style but shout out to west coast auditors but guys you guys are holding it down over there and uh this mid coast auditor thank you guys for stopping by and listening if you haven't hit like hit like when you haven't hit subscribe subscribe and don't forget to click the bell for notifications thank you guys